For many individuals in the United States, the current administration's decision to revoke temporary protected status from migrants from countries like El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, and Haiti has shaken their lives and has had them questioning their future. Temporary protected status is designated to foreign countries due to conditions in that country that temporarily prevent the country's nationals from returning to safety. Alexis Steele is an immigrant worker staff attorney at the Immigrant Legal Center in Omaha. Nebraska alone, last time I checked, has over 1,000 TPS holders. And so when you think of that, that's, that's, that's over 1,000 people here. Individuals who have had TPS are contributing members to communities who pay taxes. Dr. Donia Raveco says that many of the major effects of the removal of TPS and how they relate to students will not be seen until TPS is removed. But the university is aware of the issue and is thinking of students. The fact that they or someone they, they love, their parent, is going to lose the status obviously adds an extra layer of stress to a you know, college life that is already a stress in itself. On October 3rd, a California federal judge issued a preliminary injunction preventing the United States government from terminating TPS and employment authorization under it while a current lawsuit challenging the decision is pending. But the case can of course be appealed should the decision not be reversed before April 2nd, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services will issue another extension up to January 2nd, 2020. For the Omaha News, I'm George Cruz.